Hello, wonderful artists. Today we are going to be working on a piece of art that will use value. Value is how light or dark the colors are in an artwork. We're going to use at least four different value scales to create a webbed like picture that looks like it's going deep down into space. That's one of the big things that value is used for, is to create the illusion of space. Generally speaking, things that are closest to you are lightest in value. They'll have the lightest colors. Things that get further and further away from you tend to get darker and darker. So we are going to create four layers of these organic shapes and create four layers of value. The top layer will be the lightest, then we'll get a little darker, and then a little darker, and darker and darker all the way to the bottom. That will create the illusion that our flat piece of paper goes deep down into space. To create these many layers of different values, we are going to use four different hardness or softness of pencils. You may have noticed when looking at your pencil that it has a marking near the eraser that most of the time says 2B. That's the most common softness of a pencil, number two. The B in 2B stands for bituminous, which is another way of saying soft. So pencils with B in their scale means that these are soft pencils. And the softer the pencil, the darker the value you can get out of them. As you can see from looking at this pencil scale, as the numbers get higher, 2B, 3B, 4B, 5B, etc., the value gets darker and darker. So the higher the number with the letter B will be the darker graphite that you get. The H on the left hand of this scale stands for hard. There is H and 2H. Hard pencils leave a lighter value. The graphite in them is harder and more compact and therefore it doesn't color as much graphite onto the paper, which means in the end you get a lighter value. For this project, starting from the hardest pencil we'll be using, we will start with a 2H pencil, then we will move to an HB pencil, that means a mixture of hard and bituminous, then we'll move up to a B, and then we will move last to a 2B pencil. Now we are all set to get this drawing started. Let's all pull out a 2H pencil, the hardest of the pencils that we'll be using today, for our top layer that's gonna be the lightest value. Because remember, the harder the pencil, the lighter the value. And what we're gonna do with this 2H pencil is draw a bunch of organic shapes around the paper. There are two rules for the organic shapes. Number one, the shapes need to be large. The reason they need to be large is that we're going to be drawing three more layers underneath this one, and we need a lot of room to work with. So make sure the organic shapes are large. Another thing you're gonna wanna do is make them fit together, almost like a puzzle. But make sure that there is at least some space in between each one. As you can see here, I've drawn two organic shapes. They kind of fit into each other like a puzzle, but there's a space in between them. So I'm gonna hurry this up and finish drawing my organic shapes for the top layer. Next, it's time to shade this top layer. We're going to continue using our 2H pencil because we are looking for a light value. And using the side of the 2H pencil, Go around the inside border of each one of your organic shapes. Press hard with the pencil to get a shadow along the outer edge of the organic shapes. Next up is to add a medium shadow next to that dark shadow. So right around the border 
of the dark shadow. I'm gonna be using the side of my pencil once again. It's still a 2H pencil. The only thing that's changing is that I lightened my pressure. So I'm using light pressure to add a lighter value around the shadow. Last step is to grab up a blending stump. Make sure that it is clean first. Use some sandpaper on it if it's not clean. And you are going to blend with the blending stump from light to dark. So what I like to do is come in from the white center and blend inwards towards that medium shadow. I do that all the way around. And then I start working towards the very dark shadow around the outer edge. So I blend the medium shadow into the darker shadow. That way I keep a high contrast in this image. After the shading is done in one shape, you need to repeat those steps in every other shape. You are using the 2H pencil for a lighter value. You are adding a dark shadow around the perimeter of the shape and a medium shadow right next to that by pressing a little bit lighter. Then grab up a fresh, clean blending stump and blend from light to dark. I have good news for you, my friends. The first layer of our value webs is finished. Now we're moving up the value scale. We're gonna move to an HB pencil. That's a mixture of hard and bituminous. And it should give us a darker value. And let me tell you, it does. What we need to do with this HB pencil is add a layer below the first one of organic shapes. It's a lot like that first step, however, there's an extra trick to it. You need to make sure that you are jumping over the top web to draw the organic shapes. Otherwise, the rules stay very similar. Make sure that your organic shapes are large and that they fit together like a puzzle, but with little spaces in between. Once you're done drawing the second layer of organic shapes and you've made sure that none of them cross over top of the top layer, it's time to start our shading. So we're gonna keep the HB pencil that we drew the shapes with, and just like that first layer, we're gonna go around the edge of each organic shape with a dark shadow, using the sides of our pencils and pressing hard to get a dark shadow around the edge and then we will reduce the pressure. We'll press more lightly to create a medium shadow. And then we will use a blending stump to blend it from light to dark. Once our first shape is done, continue on and add a darker shadow to the edges of the second layer of webbing. You should immediately notice that since we switched to an HB pencil rather than a 2H pencil, that the graphite is much darker in value. And that creates an optical illusion that our second layer of webbing is underneath the first one. Sweet, layer number two is done, and because we used a darker value, it looks like it's underneath that first layer. Let's switch pencils once again, and this time we will be using a B pencil. Remember, B stands for bituminous, so this one is even softer than the HB before. And we are going to add layer number three, starting with some organic shapes again. It gets even trickier this time around because you have to jump over two layers of webbing. You still need to draw large organic shapes that almost fit together like a puzzle but with space in between. But you need to make sure that they do not cross over top of those first two layers that we created. You need to be very careful, keep track of where you're going, and jump over any webbing from the first two layers. That was kind of tricky, but I think I've done it. And now I'm ready to shade the third layer 
of these webs. I'm going to continue using my B for bituminous pencil. It's going to give me an even darker value than the other two pencils before it. And I'm going to use the side of it to carefully add a dark shadow around the outer edge of the organic shapes. Once I'm done with the dark shadow, I'm going to reduce my pressure to add a medium shadow right next to the dark shadow. And then I'm gonna get my blending stump, my trusty blending stump out once again, and I'm gonna blend those shadows from light to dark. You'll be able to see that this third layer is definitely the darkest and that's what we want. We want the values to get darker and darker as we go deeper and deeper into the layers of webs. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for our final layer. We will be using a 2B pencil. That means it's bituminous and it's even more bituminous than the B pencil, which is just what we want because it's going to give us the darkest value of all so far. Let's start with our organic shapes. This time it is the trickiest it's ever been. There are three other layers that we need to jump over. Don't intersect any of the other layers. Try to keep track of what organic shape you are drawing and jump over each one of the previous layers. Make sure that your shapes fit together like a puzzle with little spaces in between. Continuing to use our 2B pencil, we are going to do the shading routine. We're going to press hard and add a dark shadow around the outer edge of the shapes. Then we will reduce our pressure and add a medium tone shadow. And last, we will pull out our trusty blending stumps and blend it, each one from light to dark. I'm very excited to see how you handle this value web. I'm excited to see what organic shapes you draw and how well you use different hardnesses and softnesses of pencils to create four different layers of value. See you later.